Alright, what is going on everyone and welcome to Path of Exile. Now, today is a special day because the new expansion, the Ascendancy expansion, came out. And I'm literally playing this about like three minutes after the official launch. So, there might be some lag. There's literally like 20,000 people playing at this point. I actually have a screenshot to show you that I took before we actually got into the server. I will show you this right now. Bam! On that screen, there was me sitting in the queue with about 11,000 other people. It was actually fine, funny, but we finally got in. And, uh, yeah, so, if you don't know what the Ascendancy expansion is, they pretty much added a labyrinth and changed up a couple of things. It's a pretty big expansion. And so, a little bit about this game. It's a uh, RPG action. It's pretty unique. It's kind of like Diablo. I don't really like comparing it to it, except more detailed, and I honestly thought this game was better. And yeah. So, I have a full 100% playthrough that was out in 2014. The last time I played it was honestly like two days after the Ascendance, or not Ascendancy, Ascension expansion that came out about last year. So I don't really have too much game experience after that. But I did want to check out the game again, just because it looked pretty unique, and I think this might just be a short series, just to check out what's new and whatnot. So, um, what they did was gave everyone a full skill reset, but we're going to be creating a new character, just because I wanted to try it out and see what was new. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but... We're gonna try it. I think this is new, so we're just gonna we're gonna do that, and then there's obviously standard, and then hardcore is if you die, you go to standard. So yeah, we're gonna try this one. All right, so let's try a new character that we haven't really done before. Um, I like the duelist a simple before. Job I was told. Is Shadow a new class? A simple job I was told. Silence a big mouth, get a big payout, and no one was going to be the wiser. Tidy, except for one loose end. Me. I would have kept my mouth shut. Professional integrity, it's called. Unfortunately, not something my employers believed in. They raised a toast to a job well done. So, I'm not exactly sure what's new specifically, but yeah, we're going to try everything out again. So if you guys are going to enjoy this, Nothing be sure like to let me know. To start the day. Now where on God's ass am I? Bastards dominating doesn't. Uh, uh. Alright, so I'll try to explain what to do Is throughout this possible game. To murder someone who's already dead. Alright, so this is an RPG as you may imagine. And what's unique about this one is Instead of like having a character where you have specific skills, it doesn't really matter what class you play, you can do honestly anything you want. And the health potions are regenerated by killing enemies, so there's no like a certain number you have to like recharge or something. And you just have to uh, kill enemies to recharge everything again, so that's pretty cool. So, the way it works is you have gems, and you put those gems into your weapon to get the skills. So that means every class can use everything, essentially, and the way you build is how you like playing. So that's the unique part about this game. No, I'm on. Alright, so, I'll show you a little bit later how much detail there is, but we're going to be trying the new stuff along with... Uh, just maybe stuff I've never seen before. So keep in mind the last time I've played was Ascension or like the two days after Ascension. So what what's new to me might not be new to you. Right, let me... Here's our first boss. So I've never played a shadow character before. So this is, I don't even know when they added it, to be honest. Alright, 
so. And then our ring. Alright, so Lion Eyes Watch is the first like main hub area for Act 1. There's uh, four different acts right now. And Ascension was Act 4. Alright, so let's talk to these people. I saw what you did to Hillock out there, Shadow. Your murderous art is the reason you're here, in exile. And it'll be the one thing that sees you through to another dawn. I'm Nessa, and I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of the putrid giant. Back in Orioth, I feared your kind, condemned you from afar. In Rayclast, I don't have that luxury. Lion Eyes Watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Alright, so let me mess with the sound real quick. The dialogue is pretty loud. And then... What was the one with the health bars? Let's, do, let's turn that one off where the health bar is above my character. And this is our map. The way you know is where you are. You keep going up. And the ones over here, that means there's a portal. A sodden shadow staggered from the surf and surveyed the somber strand. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you, Exile. Easy, lad. You could poison a bloke with it look like that. The name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Merry Gull. Unless my Merry Gull is gone. My crew is uh, gone, but my wits remain, after a fashion. <laughs> There's an island, a hop skipping away offshore of the terraces. That's where my merry go ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor, but his medicine chest might still be there, amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands Opton was lousy with a scalpel and even worse with a saw, but he knew his apothecary. Explains the shaky hands, if you ask me. Poor Nessa. Not even a mother herself, and yet she cares for us all. And what a sickly, pathetic brood we are. May she live to have her own family. A real family. If anyone deserves that, Nessa does. Did I even change the sound? So pretty much it tells you where to go in your quest. This is the Why merchant guy. Hillock? Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us the moment his blackguards dumped us in the water out there. Just live or die now. Here, have one of these. And no need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. So these are gems. Uh, you get these, these are all different skills. And the way you combine them, you see how this is a two link? Uh, when you can link them, see that how these have no links? There are items in game that can help roll it. So you can link all three, you can link have two. So that's where most of the gameplay comes in. And then when you link them, you get the skill bonuses. And that's really unique. So honestly, I've seen this one before. That This is not new, fire traps not new freezing pulse is this a this is a projectile honestly like I think I've seen all of these except for the frost blade so you could take the gems out and you can combine them and then you can obviously switch them up okay So what we're going to want to do now is, after we talk to everyone, um, over here you see this thing on the map, that's the portal. And that's your teleporter, but as of right now I don't think we have anything, so gotta go walk. So this is where all your skills come the from. The furnace down at the slaughterhouse, yes, that's what this place smells like. All right. 
Alright, so there's nothing here. Oh god, the cooldown. It's nice not being dead yet. So this is where the big part of the game comes in. You see this? This is our skill tree. This is the entire skill tree. It's impossible to actually fill everything up, but you every class starts in a different spot uh, depending on what you do. So our class, we have a shadow, we start here. We're primarily focused on intelligence and dexterity. So we could either do go physical and chaos or we can go magic. Depending on how we want to build, um, there are items in game that you could refund your points with, so it's actually very important that you theory craft before you do anything. And generally, it's important to know what you want to do. So, this is physical damage and chaos, and it also applies poison. And this one is, um, I do believe, magic. So, I do want to go with physical just because that seems pretty cool, but then. I don't know. Having life is also pretty important. Um, if you choose magic, you're basically playing with low health but high shields. And then this one is that. Alright, so. And as you may imagine, there are different difficulties once you complete the game. I do assume that if you were to like binge play this game, you could complete the entire normal in about one day. Maybe uh, the difficulty after that too in one day. But that's literally if you're playing about seven hours straight. And then once your gems level up, you can click there and then uh, they give you bonuses and whatnot. So every gem, as far as I know, they go up to level 20. And after that, you can like level them up or like, what's the word for that? Like prestige your, your gem and then it resets it and gives it more stats. So right now, what we're trying to do is find Tidal Island. You'll find a small portal. And I assume the rewards are mostly the same as like two years ago. So once we find the island, we're gonna kill a few things and we get like a free bonus skill point. So that's our boss. So look, keep a lookout on my health potions. Now, once you kill more enemies, it regens gradually. So that's like the important thing. I do believe to kill that one you have to kill them simultaneously over time or like you can't take too long. Hold on, let me adjust the audio real quick. Alright, so we got a rutched Whoa, did I say that wrong? Rusted hatchet, yeah. Usually yellows are pretty good. However, as good as this one may be, um, it only has one thing or like one socket. We could change that a little bit later, but right now we don't really have too much. Oh. Parandus coin. These are actually new to me. I think they're used as currency along with your other item currency. 
So we're gonna be figuring out what everything is a little bit later. Cause I honestly have no idea. Frost please. Dude, I, actually, I think they actually changed the waypoint. Like, it looks different. Or at least it does for me. There should be another waypoint, like, right near the beginning of Tidal Island as well. I think. Maybe not. So the medicine chest is, like... Probably in a random location near the bottom. It's generally around there. Not really a fan of the uh, frost thingy that I got. It's not really a big deal. Yeah, you have to kill those simultaneously, otherwise they just regen, I believe. Hmm. Iron gauntlets are pretty good to hatch it, I don't know. We don't have gloves right now. We do need a helmet as that we should probably have taken the helmet since it was gold first or circlet. But yeah, if you guys are going to enjoy this, be sure to let me know. I can always upload more, but I just wanted to mostly do this as a test. Um, I'm going to be playing it regardless, but I don't know if you guys enjoy watching this. Oh, that was a boss. The way they do the skill, like animations in this game are pretty cool actually. I really I really like it. There we go. So you see the little things right there? It tells you like what kind of sockets they have on them. It makes life a lot easier. And unfortunately there's no fast travel out of here. You can only do it by waypoints or portals. I don't actually think we have any portals to be honest. So we're done here, that's all that really matters. We're kind of close to leveling up again, so if there's a couple more enemies on the way, I'll just uh, pick them off real quick. Getting close. I know I passed it. Good. All right, so now we have our first like branch off and generally the things you want to get are the big circles because they give huge bonuses and I guess we want more physical overall that would be pretty good. All right, so let's get back to town real quick. Whoa. Let's go turn in our thingy real quick. A medicine chest. This means more to us than you can know. There are some who wouldn't have lasted the night without it. Take this in return for the knowledge that one can do more than suffer in Rayclast. You and Tarkley, you give us something better than serums and salt. You give us hope. 
So these are your potions. Um, generally, the first thing most people pick is the Quicksilver Flask because it raises your movement speed. And overall, since we have two health ones, we're going to actually take a Quicksilver real quick. Yeah. Put it in the thingy. So, you managed to salvage Shaky Ann's druggery. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that, be numbed quack Optin ever did. Poor Nessa. Poor oh my God, Nessa. Click the right one. Tarkley rescued from the waves. A stricken bestial, fate slave. From fallen crew and broken bark. Bestial lives thanks to Tarkley. <laughs> Dude is creepy. And then I think we get our skill point Animals now. Animals don't seem to rise up after death the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, what's doing it for them? The answer's in that fetid pool near the mud flats. I know the place stinks to high heaven, but so does the idea of a flock of overactive bird carcasses hungry for a bit of living meat. Clear the place out and deal to whatever's raising those birds, and we'd be in your debt. Okay, maybe not. The fetid pool, it's an optional objective. Um, I wonder, was there a person that auto, like... Welcome. Uh, what was it? Identified your items. Can I help? Alright, so this is the currency in the game, essentially. All your items can be broken down into currency, which is used there. to trade for other items. There's Reasons. no, like, gold or whatnot. I wish there was a Be careful. Wait. She only has portals but no wisdom scrolls. <laughs> okay, game. All right, let's go. on to the mud flats so in here is the main objective and there's the optional side mission we're gonna do both of them just to get things done black storms descend on us from the north unnatural tempests of rage and hatred lashing our backs tearing at our houses the rain is shot with shadow it withers our crops sickens our livestock and the wind the wind carries with it a restless spirit that breeds melancholy and madness. A spirit that creeps through our dreams, weaves tales of misdeed around our resting minds. We try not to listen. We try to remember ourselves. Some of us forget. Brothers fight. Brothers die. Calm punishes those that quarrel, that steal, that murder. Yet still the nightmares goad us into malefaction. We, Karui, are banished from sleep. Alright, so there's three things around here that we gotta take, but I think we get ambushed on the way. Yeah, so there's three of them. The fetid pool is at the top near mountain, I think. You're going to need all three of these later, so if you see them on the way, just pick them up. I guarantee you, you're gonna need them. We don't use bows, but we're just gonna pick it up because it's yellow. Medium flask, got it. Portal 
Animal Scroll is good. Okay, so this is where we need to find all three of them. And we found two of them, though. That's where we came in from. The third one should be, like, really close by here. I feel like there's a bit of lag. My hits go right through things. I want to try to do the fetid pool one right now just to get it out of a way and I do believe it just frees up our inventory oh, there's a boss over here he's poisoned so we don't really have to worry too much about it quiver chainmail Hat or circlet? I think hat is better. Intelligence. We'll wear it. Oh. I know the fetid pool is around here. It's just where exactly. I know where the glyph wall is, but I'm trying to find the pool. I want to try to aggro everything if possible. With every death, I live a little bit more. Where is it? Oh my god. I've always wanted to try one of those discharge builds, but it's not new or anything. I just never did it. Wait, did we come from this way? The coast? Okay, so it's either, I think it's up there then. Oh, I actually got to take this seriously now. Low on mine. Pick this up, the armored scrap. There it is. So the, in here, the pool is pretty much just kill everything and then it'll tell you, like you could type slash remain, or I think remaining. And it'll just tell you, I, more games should do that.
I think we're good enough to, you know, not die in here. So, I was gonna open a portal just in case, but I figured I'd have to. Coral! Poison, so just take damage over time. <sighs> that was fun. No, it wasn't. Let's be real. <laughs> Necromancers are always the important ones. Take them out first before they respawn things. Make sure to poison them. One more till we get that one. Very important. It should tell you if there's uh, a lot less, like 10 remaining or something. It automatically does that. Low on my shining knife or shining skinning knife. Oh my god, I can't read today. Doing this, the optional quest just to level up a bit quicker. Um, plus, we I think we get a good reward for doing this. I think it's a skill point. Not completely sure. To, I don't remember. Should be enemies right here. are about to level again. Okay, kill the guy with the aura first. That's top priority. Tower shield, we don't need it. Take the amulet though. Okay, there it goes. It tells you we're done here. Portal. A necromancer? We've got enough undead wandering around without someone raising more for us to deal with. Well, good to see you don't mind getting your hands filthy. Here, have this. To mark a dirty job well done. I've traveled inland, on the Emperor's Road by the prisoner's gates. Had to skirt around Axiom Prison. That's the whole farce of Brutus, the Warden. Bloody treacherous trip it was. Worth it. There's forest inland. Game, berries, fruit. More food than we can scrounge here. But most here wouldn't survive the journey. It would be a damn sight easier if we could pass through the prison. Tell you what. You carve us a path up the coast, find us a way past or through Brutus, and you'll have more than a few lives owing to you. Alright, so is there a person that IDs everything or do you manually have to? Oh, oh, I was never there. Can I help? Lady, please. 
Oh. I think it's shift click. Where is it? Control click. The reason why I'm putting them in here now is because I'm going to have to ID them a little bit later just to sell them. It's not really optimal, but it's whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. It does help the channel grow and it lets me know you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, let me know. And I guess we'll be continuing on with a few more parts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit.